اجلاس بین المللی روز جهانی زن در پاریس الکساندرا ماتویچوک حقوقدان برنده جایزه صلح نوبل 2022 رئیس مرکز آزادی های مدنی اوکراین لیما روبرتا گبووی برنده جایزه صلح نوبل 2011 لیبریا زینت میرهاشمی سردبیر نشریه نبرد خلق عضو کمیته مرکزی سازمان چریک های فدایی خلق ایران فلور صدودی عضو شورای ملی مقاومت و نمایندگان انجمن های جوانان و زنان در کشورهای اروپایی اجرای برنامه هنری توسط گیسو شاکری و ماریا دانشور الکساندرا ماتویچوک برنده جایزه صلح نوبل 2022 اوکراین سرنوشت زنان در جهان به نتیجه مبارزه زنان ایرانی بستگی دارد آنها بار دیگر به ما نشان می دهند که مواردی مثل آزادی و همبستگی به مرزهای جغرافیایی محدود نمی شود And this is a huge honor for me to address to this distinguished audience. I have been documenting the most horrible things which people commit to each other. And I know, based on my own experience, that even in such circumstances, there are a lot of fantastic women who are in the forefront of the battle for freedom and democracy, like women in Iran. who are fighting for their human dignity and faced with enormous persecutions from the Iranian government. Torture, beating, sexual violence, enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings, illegal detention and fabricated criminal case, even in absentia. These women have no other instruments but just their own words and their own position. And this is not so little. As a human rights lawyer and as a woman, I would like to express my solidarity with women in Iran. Your fight is our fight. The destiny of women in the world depend on the result of struggle of Iranian women. They once again show us that there are a lot of things which have no limitation in national borders, like freedom and solidarity. Limo Roberto Gebovi برنده جایزه صلح نوبل 2011 لیبریا در ایران هزاران زن در اعتراضات سینه سپر کردند و امروز در زندانند ایران می تواند قیام کند و قیام خواهد کرد Thank you. I come from a country that as a 17-year-old girl, we went to war. A country where misogyny, the death of women, pregnant women were degotted. Children as young as six and nine years old were giving guns to kill their parents. Drugs became the order of the day. A nation that sunk so far down that no one thought would ever rise to be anything amongst the community of nation. Women, ordinary women like myself with only 10 US dollars decided we were putting an end to this. We stood up to tyranny. We decided we would speak and use our voices and our bodies that had been battled and raped and abused to stand up. For two and a half years, we protested in our country 
We went from place to place, but we knew that if peace and democracy and justice and freedom would come to our country, it would come through the women. Two and a half years later, we got peace. It's been 20 years, and we've not gone back to war. Four election circle, no violence. Through our advocacy, we were able to elect Africa's first female president, a woman who, stood, who still stands today as one of the powers of our world. As I sit and think about Iran, I don't see a weak country. Thousands of women that have put their bodies in front of protests and they are in prison today. Women in this room who are standing and ready to stand for freedom and democracy. Iran can rise. Iran will rise. Women, put your hands together. Work for peace. Work for justice. Don't be divided by ideologies. In Liberia, they told us that Christian and Muslim women could not work together. We defy the odds. We work together. We gave our country peace. We've given our children the best thing, and that is the democracy that they enjoy today. Iranian women, you can do it. Freedom, justice for Iran, peace for Iran.